All right. We got our interview of the evening going down right now. And yeah, man, it's um we got some 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 funny in the building, you know what I'm saying? It's pressure. It's hard, <laughs> man. Nah, man. We have something other than a rapper. Yeah, it's other than or, like No, we're not a rapper. We, we have side, movers and shakers. Want, yeah, no. yeah. yeah. But we love to get the, the funny the people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we like to get the funny people in the building. Like we've had um Toronto guy Cody. Toronto guy Toronto guy Cody, yeah. the six at six. Yeah. Um we had the, hood, the Toronto hood man himself. Yes. Um oh. what's what's with Andy? Yeah. On what's six with list. Andy? What did Andy do? He was on um our show Six List. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. A while Joseph, back. No? Um, Joseph was also yeah. on there too, a man like Joseph. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. So basically, we're just <laughs> so trying I'm the to last one. Yeah, mm, <laughs> not there's necessarily. More. There's more. We, we had Big Norm. Yeah, Big we had Norm. Big Norm. Yeah. Yes, yes, yeah, we yes. Have Marlin. Now. Well, he just finished doing his um, beer trees five. Uh, jokes, beer jokes. Uh, beer jokes. Yeah, beer jokes five. Mm. Yeah. Marlin yeah. was on the card. Marlin, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Marlin's alumni also. Yeah. So, I saw that one, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a while back. Gravy. Yeah. Yeah. So we're basically trying to collect basically all of the comedians in the fucking what city. What would it be, though, if it wasn't rappers and... Do you guys have anyone else besides... Producers. 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 You guys need to get, like, like cameramen. politicians or something. We've had politicians. We've had politicians. We've done that. Yeah, but shout out to Nia Singh. But not on this show. On Six List. Six List. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 That's yeah, a show yeah. where it's more uh, Vlad style. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, a one-on-one -on -one shit. You know what I'm saying? But for the people who are in the listening audience, and shout out to the people who are on the YouTube audience as usual, who who already see who we have in the building, and y'all will be familiar um, to the um, to, to this gentleman because he's in the YouTube space, he's all over the gram, he's fucking hilarious. getting thousands of views and hilarious as fuck. Thanks, so man. with no further ado, we have Bilal Dawson in the motherfucking building. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Well, Perry a drip drip, never let it slip slip. Got it with a tight grip, real shit. And I'm dripping like a raindrop, dropping vids nonstop. Keep emotions. Good. And <laughs> yo, you didn't bring your olive oil bottle. Nah, uh, well, you know, what for me to look shiny or? No, no I see. I, you post, I see you posted one of your pics before you have the olive oil bottle, like it's a bottle, yeah, you're yeah. like it's a liquor bottle. Yeah, like. man, if we get creative, man, I'm I'm sporting the the Perrier water now. The four, yeah. the, oh, I'm trying yeah. to like you know get away from nothing that not that there's nothing wrong with this you know but, but it's okay it's just okay, okay. All right. it's no label water around okay. here that's that we love hip hop water right there you know what I'm saying that shit's worth five bucks right there but there was some um, I could taste it that's what's crazy as I taste it I was like this is quality yeah it's, this isn't like I'm tap saying. water it's upper epsilon yeah. water no I, I honestly see it yeah. come on fam this is a big budget <laughs> there was one yeah. thing I was watching here last week I was on the gram no right? punches and um it, you know I, I, I'd be on the gram Sometimes just fucking cackling yeah. to myself in the apartment, right? The one skit. I'm afraid. <laughs> <laughs> Would you and your white brethren? Okay, it starts with Barney. a girl. When my girl drinks too much henny. Yes. No, 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 not straight from the bottle. No. Yo. Okay. How do you come up with these fucking skits, bro? Oh man, yo. Uh, I don't know. I just, every time I get an idea, anytime someone says some shit, it's like mm. constantly going into my phone, man. So I got like a plethora of a bunch of ideas, like hundreds, man. And then eventually I'll just go through them. I'll pick one. Like the Henny one Somebody is only because it was personal experience. Like I went to, obviously, you know how it is. Like yeah. you, I don't even know where I went that night. Somewhere, man. And then this girl just went off on Henny and like girls everyone's like yeah when I drink Henny I'm a, I'm a monster and shit so I was thinking about like uh, you guys ever watch uh, Hulk yes mm. but the 90s version with, with yeah. Lou Ferrigno yes, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. yes yes so I was thinking about that shit as like how girls go crazy after Henny and so that kind of sparked it and then I'll just, <laughs> like I said I just write the shit down and then so you just have like a little jot of the different ideas of things that can become full skits like later on mm. type of thing mm. okay and then sometimes it'll be like the day before. Mm. Like I literally filmed the video today and it was, I came up with it today. It's just wow. because sometimes I know if I write it down, it won't be, it won't be the same way how I'm thinking about it. You yeah. know, like I can't put it to words. I got to like actually just film it right away Yeah. because yeah, if I write it down, it will, it won't be, it won't resonate as much, you know? So I always wonder like, what's the fucking process from the beginning to like when, what we're seeing? Mm -hmm. Cause we're just seeing like, 
the final product and we're laughing right but like i even see like just some um a little, little bit of special effects sometimes that you use and stuff mm -hmm. like that like it depends man like i said like with those some of the videos that like are pretty heavy effects mm -hmm. that stuff it might be a little bit of a process like some videos i have right now i'm like okay it's gonna take a lot to like do i'm gonna have to get a bunch of people for it it's gonna take me a while to edit mm -hmm. yeah so right now because i'm ot like i'm in hamilton right now so okay. i don't have the same equipment i don't have the people around me i gotta do a lot of like just me filming with myself you know me being mm. a bunch of different characters but once i kind of get that time because i want to make sure it's good i want to half-ass shit and yeah. make sure that especially when it's a good idea yeah and you're like fuck yo i know that could have been better if i just took the time and i really like perfected it you know mm. so yeah it just depends on the situation right now i'm kind of doing a lot more uh just me filming myself like talking a lot of dialogue based like okay. relatable shit yeah but it really does depend it does depend i feel like i got off on uh like my main shit i feel like the reason why people follow me or is because i go that extra mile and i edit shit and mm. uh, i do some crazy shit and i'll fucking uh i'll just go full force for like a minute video like i have one comment say uh yo how does this guy spend this much time on a video like a one minute instagram video i was like i don't know if i should be offended or some shit because i'm like oh shit like but yeah, no, them, right? yeah okay. i'm like oh damn am i wasting my time but yeah. no that yeah. caravan of boot uh, yeah, camp yeah. i like that one which yeah. one caravan, the caravan one yeah. which one Which one though? The one recently here. Okay, we have the, okay. I don't know if you guys. I don't know if you guys saw the one where it's how uh, Caribbean men dance. You see that one? Where it's like, uh, yo, oh my god. Well, so, I'll show okay, you later. break that one I'll down to us. How did how did you come up with that one? Which one? The Caribbean one? Yeah, because no, the, 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 the dance. How Caribbean just, men yeah, like yeah, dance yeah. and shit. That's just that. That was Moda Nights, man. That was just over at York. Just when the dance hall came on, man, and for some reason, every Jamaican man in the club wears sunglasses. <laughs> <laughs> Dark eyes, <laughs> <It's fucking> too. <laughs> <crazy, yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> or they're chewing on a straw and shit, so I just spoofed that, man. Because I'm like, for some women, I could imagine how that shit would be just <laughs> fucking scary, man. Like, terrifying, yo. So, yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. The fucking Snapchat filter. You went there. Oh, my God. <laughs> <coughs> Yo, you did the that shit. Face? Yeah, I had to, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> Yo, what? Yo, why am I sweet? <laughs> I had to. It was too. It was too good, man. Yeah, the the. That's some crazy shit, though. Like it's mm. realistic, man. That's fucked Got up. Got people confused, man. On it's a scary good. world. It's a scary world, man. You, you never know who you're talking to anymore. Yeah. I seen the guy post a video. I'm seeing the video. And the man has his hand like this. Yeah. I'm like, yo, what's wrong with this guy? What are you doing? So I'm watching the video, and the man's like, yo, yo, Snapchat. Yo, this shit ain't no game, <laughs> eh? And then the man went. And then the man turned into a woman. I was like, what the fuck? Yeah. yeah. And then the man's like, you know, posing whatever. And then he put his hand back up to get back to the whatever. He's like, yo, yeah. Snap, you gotta take this shit down, man. This this ain't cool, man. You're gonna get people catfishing motherfuckers. You know what's though? On a on a like real note though, think about how scary that shit is though. Because like now, like I've seen some shit where people can like pretend to be Donald Trump and shit. Mm. You can have the president saying some next shit. When you really think about how scary that face, like how advanced it got, yeah, that shit's scary, man. Because you can really be like a different person. And yeah, sure. Make start, it believable. Start fucking tricking the face recognition programs and shit. What's your most popular video? Uh, to this date, it's probably this is Canada. That was probably, and that was also like the first one that went viral for me. Okay. So that like that went that exploded, man. That was is that a the year National ago. Geographic's one? No. So that that was a good week because I I posted. <laughs> that was a good week. <laughs> I'm proud of it. That was a good week, man. Yeah. Real shit though, because I had three videos lined up that same day, and I'm mm -hmm. pretty sure each one did pretty good, man. The This Is Canada probably was uh, the biggest because that went on Nine Gag. They have something like 50 million followers, man. Wow. Six Buzz posted that. And at, six, at that point, I think Six Buzz was like 200,000. So mm -hmm, we're talking mm -hmm. about, you know, early days. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and yeah, man. Then the National Geographic one, the Toronto version one, that was mm -hmm. good. That's yeah, hilarious. man. That's almost on a year now. So this is actually the year anniversary, May. That's oh, crazy. Wow. Yeah, man. So That's in a big. year, after that happens, right? Yeah. You get like three fucking viral videos everybody's seeing your face on the like different social media platforms do people start hollering at you in the street like yo below 
Yo. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just yeah. Laugh. But <laughs> he's, yo, he was because, there. <laughs> yeah, he's been there for some of that. But the What's first like? time, like that shit tripped me out, man. Like that shit. I don't know if you guys get the same like same shit because that shit to me was weird. Like to have people like say to know you too mm. and like say some shit and you don't have any idea of them it sounds like it feels like they got the upper edge at, you know what i mean yeah, and yeah it has yeah, the upper yeah. edge on you yep, you know got one up on you mm-hmm. and then people will like film you too sometimes when you don't know that shit freaks me out i got yeah so you've been snapchatted a few times yeah i haven't wow. had, I and not that. on good occasions man i don't that's know if that's ever happened thing. to me you don't want to slip up man yeah that could be discomforting it, I, I, mm-hmm. I've, I've had i've had it one time last mm-hmm. year i had someone ask me yo can i snapchat you I was like, nah, bro. Plus, <laughs> yeah, so he's plus, like, nah, yeah. plus, we're driving. Like, yo, you're in one car. I'm in my car. We happen to stop at the lights. I have my. I'm listening to music. You know, yeah. windows down. It's a nice day. Whatever. Mm-hmm. Last year in the summertime. Whatever. And you know, you look over and the man looks. The guy's like, yo, you're the guy from the podcast. I'm like, yeah, yeah, you done. He's like, yo, so what, you say I can get a snap? I'm like, no, bro. We talking about that? It's peeled off. Like, yo, I was surprised he didn't try adding you on Instagram. He's like, so what? You're not gonna follow me back? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, the man fully looked at me and said, yo, can I get a snap? I'm like, bro, but we're dry. I mean, like, yeah. no, like, and I just, yeah, I had to. That, that's crazy, though, you know, like, that shit, like, fucks with you. So it took me a bit to get adjusted to it. it, it so, it's and I'm still not feeling to. it on, like, any extent of, like, some of these other people, you know? So are you an extrovert by nature or introvert? Oh, I don't know. That's a hard question. Uh. You know what's crazy? I feel like at first, like in high school and shit, I was very extro- extroverted. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then, I don't know, man. I don't think I'm introverted. I just think once I get comfortable with people, I'll start like fucking wilding out. Yeah, know? yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I say some crazy shit, as you guys can tell with some of the videos. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you don't know, you don't know how to gauge a person of what they can handle. Yeah. Do you yeah, ever have yeah. like some comedy and shit? You're just like, I'm not sure if they're here yet. Like if our relationship is there. Mm-hmm. You know? So that brings with the comedy world right Mm -hmm. a lot of times we're in a sensitive time right where people a lot of jokes people say you're pushing the line yeah do you worry about that or do you just fucking let the shit fly all the time man all the time but it's comedy so like what's crazy too i'm not even worried about it's just my mom will be fucking like do you ever have that oh my god man having that conversation with your mom where you're like you say some crazy shit mm-hmm. and your mom's like yeah so like i was just wasn't really fucking with that <laughs> wow. it's like, oh, shit, yo. because you say some i'd be worried sometimes like you see how people will be like resurfacing tweets and shit mm-hmm, mm-hmm. could you imagine could you imagine i'm like 30 years old and someone's like yo so you were jerking off in this uh this video here <laughs> <laughs> you like, name it shit dog oh yeah, man that would fuck with you man yeah. so uh, but it, i know in 30 years what are they gonna pull up for my tweets yeah you know it's bell day <laughs> it's bell day let's talk mental health that's all you're gonna pull up for my man. twitter account you're a saint man <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, saint, I don't use it i don't man. use it i have one but i don't use it so do you pull back because of that or um i think it's cyclical i think i go through like different like seasons man because mm-hmm. sometimes I'm like, fuck it, I just want to say whatever I want to say. Yeah. And then sometimes I'm like, no, I want to be a little bit more clean. Make sure, like, you don't burn any bridges before, like, it gets burnt, you know? Yeah, what I mean? yeah. But I'm still battling with that to this day, man. I'm kind of new in this shit. So it's like, mm. to know, I think if I don't find it offensive, you know, if I think that it's a tasteful joke. Yeah. And I'm truly not trying to attack any certain group or I'm trying yeah. to, like, you know, be hateful. If I, <laughs> if I say it in a good nature, it's in a good nature. You yeah. Know what I mean? So... It's just very dependent because at the end of the day, you can't be offended if someone else is offended. You know, mm. that's like someone told me that shit. And I was like, yeah, that's true. Because you can't, you don't know what anyone else's perspective is. So if you are offended, I'm going to be like, okay, cool. That's your thing. Yeah. It doesn't mean that I got to quit my shit, you know? No. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. And you're doing like skit comedy, mm-hmm. right? Or sketch now, comedy. Or sketch mm-hmm. comedy. We, yeah. we would call it that, right? Yeah, skit comedy isn't that skit, the same skit, shit. Yeah, yeah skit, 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 I guess. I don't know. Yeah. But Trying as a, as a young man, <laughs> right? You're yeah. you're coming from like the Instagram nation. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? You're you weren't. I I don't know exactly how old. Like how old are you? I'm 20. So you've been born into yeah, you Instagram. Might need to blur that out though, because I, I, yo, <laughs> I, I didn't tell. I don't tell everybody I'm 20. So you know, that's, it, that's, it. that's the part where. Yeah. Well, well, you're, well, you're hella young. Yeah. 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 How old are you? Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. I, and I don't tell everybody how I'm blur. Yeah. 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 So as a young guy, right? Yeah. You started 
comedy through Instagram? Uh, well, no, man. I was one of those weird kids, man. Like, I was always into YouTube, man. Like, that was our generation. Like, okay. obviously, I watched still a bunch of TV, but, like, yeah. as, like, a millennial and shit like that is... I grew up on YouTube and, like, those YouTubers. So, like, that was... We're almost, like, the second generation of that. Right. You know I mean, we're products of going through an age where we had Facebook, like, in before high school. We had Instagram. We had Twitter. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So we're kind of like the 90s, like the late 90s babies are the first of to be going through that shit. And I could only imagine, like, have you talked to kids who were, like, born in 2005? Like, my cousins, man. Mm. It's a different wave, man. Yeah. They're on a different wave. And sometimes I feel like I'm an old head, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I mean. Yeah. So if you're an old head. Yeah, fuck. man. Yeah. So... But yeah, do you did you ever fuck with like stand up comedy watching those like that mm-hmm. on YouTube? Mm-hmm. Who's your favorite comedians? Dave Chappelle, mm-hmm. of course. Louis C. Yeah, I guess he's he's an easy one. Dave Chappelle, Louis C. K. Uh, Louis funny. Louis really funny. Eddie Murphy, mm-hmm. but come, some of that shit's kind of dated now. You know what I mean? Like I like some of the shit Eddie Murphy said was crazy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Old, yeah like old delirious, stuff? like. This shit's crazy. <laughs> the shit, the one where he talks about, he says like he goes talking about gay people, mm. talks about Mr. T fucking him in the ass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Those are classic skits. Crazy. Or classic, yeah, man, classic bits. Cars, I'm making the siren sound and yeah. stuff like that. Yeah. Could you imagine that for surfacing now? No, oh, could you know not get away with that now. He, 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 he could no way. There's no way. Yeah. yeah so, <laughs> have you ever tried stand up? I did stand up once, mm. like two months ago. How was How, it? Yeah, see. I think it was good. I think like you shouldn't. For your first time, man, that shit's, like, you want to talk about some of, like, the most scary shit, like, in my life, like, to go up in front of a crowd and just, like, try and be funny. So, how big was the crowd? It was only, like, 50 people, I think. Yeah. Mm. Still a big, that's, 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 that's a what big I'm saying. That shit, still, for our first show, 50 people, I think that's still pretty big. Yeah. No, nah, it's big. So, you, yeah. did you, you had, like, how much time of material did you, did they give you? Five minutes. Five minutes. Yeah. yeah. Not bad. So, how was and it? I how think, did you kill it? I think it? it went good, because I feel like you shouldn't be, like... Like, it's your first time, you know what I mean? Like, you don't, I feel like something like that, like, making it bad can really, like, deter you and not want to do it ever again. But something like stand-up, it takes years to perfect, man. Like, take Kevin Hart, for example. How long it took him to get, like, good at his craft, man. Mm -hmm. Man's 40, right? Have you read his book? Not yet. That's good, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Kevin Hart, he's a hard worker. He's definitely a hard worker. Yeah. But I definitely got a few laughs, you know, Mm -hmm. like... I don't know, man. I'm not. I'm not too like picky on that shit. You know what I mean? Like I take it as as it is. I'm just glad I did the experience. That's right. what I was. That's what I was most happy about over yeah. all of that shit. You so know? this is something you would do again? Yeah, 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 yeah. But it just depends on writing the material mm. and like you got to build up that confidence to go do that shit again. You know? Yeah. So how did the crowd res- like respond to you? I think it was pretty good, man. Like I still got like every mark that I wanted to hit of like getting laughs and shit. It did hit. Yeah, you know yeah, I mean? yeah. It was more so me being nervous. Like, I feel like the biggest thing for you to do is, like, have the confidence and fucking, mm. yeah. Like, that, you can fake it till you make it, you know what I mean? Yeah. So. You ever get the pushback from, like, the guys who are the stand-up comedians? Like, oh, you guys are just fucking Instagram comedians. I think, personally, man, and, like, the comedy world that we're in, mm-hmm. it's, like, the most supportive group, man. Like, you see, we're all in videos, man. Yeah. yeah. We're all group. we're all yeah. pushing our, our each other's videos, man. Like, it's not, like... There's no politics. There's no politics, man. No, there's really not. Mm-hmm. Like, I think it's a really good... Yeah, it's not like rappers, like, I hate to say it, you know? Is I feel just, like things are changing now, though. Is it just you guys, or have you seen that in your generation, period? Because it might be just you, man like Joseph, mm. um, you know, Cody. Toronto guy Cody, who are just building together. I don't know what the other yeah, scenes, yeah, yeah. but you're in the comedy world. Mm. So do you see a lot of other comedians building together or is it? In other cities or just in Toronto? Just like other comedians that you might admire. Like when you see like the Ha Ha Davises and all those guys, like I'm, I'm not really deep into what. They're, what they're doing like you know when I don't see all their skits I see some of the most popular stuff you know what we're I mean we're definitely not the first ones to make like an Instagram group though like do you see King Batch like you know who he is mm, King Batch on. they had a full group in LA man like they they even bought in the same condo mm-hmm. like their own little compound and they all just film videos every day every day wow. like we're definitely not the first of the group I feel like as a new city as Toronto is mm-hmm. We're, we have a, such a good platform to like start looking at like LA, New York, these places that built it up I'm good. to to like build these places up. 
No. Nope. <laughs> I'll take it, it I'll take over it. here. Continue. Continue. Is that we can use the <laughs> we can use these samples and like make something of it. Same with rap, man. Like, mm. like they should really be looking at what like Atlanta's doing or some shit, man. Facts. Facts. Where I feel like Toronto's getting such it's such a hot spot for shit right now, man. Yeah. That if we like took they do have these, a spotlight on Toronto. Yeah, right man. Now. Yeah. Because I feel like essentially we're like New York in the in the seventies kind of. Mm. You know what I mean? Interesting. Break that down. Like kind of becoming like a mainstream city. Okay. Okay, hold on a second. And I don't know if that does that make sense. Say, what do you know about the seventies though? Like, who I'm just going you, based on like, like you, shit that I know though. Cause like you're you're 20, right? Like I feel like oh, that's when it was popping off. Don't worry, that. Don't worry. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but like you're young, right? So yeah. like to make that consp- comparison to like yo, I feel it's like New York in the seventies. Who's t- you know like. I can say maybe I, I, I see what you're saying. He's an old soul. He must be the time traveler. I lived through many. I, I lived through many generations. You're a time mm. traveler. Right? <laughs> That's what the. Truth I'm just is. saying, based on like if we were to look at, say, record sales. Okay. Mm. You know what I mean, or if yeah. we were to look right. at like the beginnings of different okay. genres. Yeah, like the jazz so I can look scene back at and that all that. Shit, yeah. Right? Yeah. No, I'm not That's saying you can't saying. look yeah. back, but I'm, yeah. just the way you're like, yeah, but like you know, in the seven. Or say when when Hollywood was like first popping. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. That was like, like the answer. You know what I mean? Like yeah. there's yeah. there's sparks, and mm-hmm. I feel like we're at that spot where it's about to be like a, a big spark, man. It's about to about to blow up. Mm. When you guys get together to do a skit, how does that? How do you guys write that? How do you collab that? That's a good question right there. Like you guys storyboard? <laughs> I feel like you're taking us Oh my oh man, I feel like you're taking us way too professional. Like, I'm just <laughs> like it's uh no. Well, there's a group of you guys, right? Like it's a group. Okay, well. Yeah, no no no. Well, in the beginning, I feel like we had a really good chance where like we were or not a really good chance like Every week we were meeting up once a week and we were getting like bear skits done, like maybe 10. Mm-hmm. Each person got their two if they planned it out, right? So I feel like if we kept that going, those constant collabs, like I feel like that's where I'm saying we're following the sample of LA or New York where yeah, they, yeah. they got together and they did those collabs, you know? Yeah. Because it's a really quick way to grow, man. So what, like one guy will come to the table with an idea, say, hey, let's try this. And then you guys collab on that, mm. Co- shoot that, boom. And then another man comes with an idea like that kind of way or hey let's try this and then everybody just starts adding to the pot like how does it how does it work because like i'm watching like the national geographics and i'm like did one man come with that idea or did all you guys come with that idea it's completely situational on like the you know i mean each one's different so i couldn't really tell you like which solid one we go through sometimes all because we're all pretty good at like creating things you know what i mean like mm-hmm. we're all we all have different creative minds and we can add a point onto something mm-hmm. that we might not have known already you know what i mean yeah so sometimes i'll come up with up with an idea and then some man will be like oh why don't you say this instead or why don't you do this instead mm-hmm. and i'm in my head going like fuck that's way better than what i have planned so i'm like of course i'm gonna take that yeah. better idea so it just depends sometimes i'll have the full thing set out like i'm like you guys say this you guys say this but mm-hmm. every once in a while it can be tweaked you know yeah so you say you you're coming from OT. So mm. what ends like where, where'd you grow up? Hamilton, man. Okay, yeah. Steel yeah. Town. The Steel Hammer. Town. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. went old school with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Steel Yo, Town. The one way streets out there fuck me up, man. My mom's bridging is out there. I drive her out there all the time, and I end up on this one street. I know the only thing that saves me is the highway is right there. It's like yo, boom, the KFC. Pull down a little bit and then bang the highways right there. Yeah. Yo, listen to me. I got landmarks, man. You got you know little mall yeah, pizza, pizza whatever. So Yo, how was it for way. you growing up? Out there? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, <laughs> he was getting flashbacks, man. Yeah, I only drive out there. Shit. <laughs> no, everything was blessed for me, man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Same, but, yeah. Basic shit. I, it's yeah. A kind of a crazy town. Mm-hmm. Hamilton's not no fucking soft town, man. Ham- it's. It depends on where you're at, yeah. Yeah, it yeah. It can be kind of crazy. But, like, I think that, like, the switch from Hamilton to Toronto, to Toronto is, like, not that different. Yeah. To be honest, you know what I mean? And now it's so much different. Like, the way Hamilton has evolved, like, they're very into the Toronto scene, man. Like, they know the music. Like, mm-hmm. there's a big audience in Hamilton. And that's, like, f- half a million people right there. Yeah. Yeah. What about the college being over there? Did that, did that influence anything with you growing up? Were you, like, over there smashing the girls from the college and shit? Well, I moved before I even, like, after high school, I came out here, man. Came uh, straight to school. Yeah. Okay. 
I didn't spend any time at that college or McMaster. Like every time, as soon as I, as soon as I hit, and then you know, you put that blurb right there. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Ever since I, uh, I came to York and stuff, like that was like, that was it, man. So I came here young. Did you come young? Here f- like, did you come first? <laughs> I was acting? like, I'm like I'm old, man. <laughs> for acting? No, I came. I went to York University for film, man. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Learning the behind the scenes stuff. No, because when okay so it's just, this is where we can get into the the origin story man mm-hmm. all right so since i was like nine i told you guys i was like really into youtube man okay and then i was really into film so i kind of like got the cameras i was making videos since i was like nine dog really? like i could pull up like crazy videos from one of those i should though. man what kind of videos were you making anything same shit i'm actually making now man from it's nine at nine it's <laughs> like well now we gotta blurt that <laughs> no, 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 Yeah, it's been wow. a while, man. When you really, when you really take in like how many like hours have been like spent on this shit, it's crazy. And I just always loved it, man. And like so I really loved this from shit. Them times you've been filming yourself, basically. Filming me and my friends just making videos, man. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So. Yeah. Usually a nine year old is sitting there fucking filming themselves playing um, Fortnite and shit like that. He's wanted to do comedy from then. When I was nine? Yeah. There wasn't no Fortnite, man. What <laughs> well, I'm saying, but like, people on YouTube, when kids are using YouTube, they're yeah. using it for unboxing. like kid yeah, shit. Yeah, I was gonna say unboxing. That's a pretty mature thing to be making a video of, you know what I mean? Like, it's. Yeah, for, at nine o'clock, you, at, at nine, o'clock, at nine, nine. Years old, you're like, yeah, you know what? I'm gonna film myself making comedy with my friends. Yeah, what inspires that, man? It was YouTube. It was YouTube, it was yeah. YouTube from there. It was then. just seeing them, man, like, using them as a model, man. It's, it's, for real and i liked it man i like i was always into like entertaining and shit man mm-hmm. as a kid like i was that clown man just yeah. constantly doing some shit and so like videos was just such a good way and i never like the passion for that like never died you know mm-hmm. so i just kept doing it man yeah because yeah. it's not just youtube a lot of kids are watching youtube at nine mm. and they're not like hey now i'm gonna go and make it <laughs> you know what I'm nowadays these kids they're doing the unboxing videos that's how they're making it on i YouTube. feel like that's so not true at all like think about how many people make instagram videos or like make uh like tiktoks or some shit man mm. like they be adding into the community low-key it just took different forms yeah i feel like i'm at my age you actually had a lot of kids like who made youtube channels and shit you know? mm. yeah that's what they're doing yeah. now they're most of them are unboxing and they're like they're opening toys or they're reviewing clothes or they're getting deals with Walmart. Fucking six deals year old. with Walmart. Yeah. Yo, it's no joke. Six year old kid flipping opening toys. Multi million deal one, with Walmart. One of the biggest like paid YouTubers is actually a kid, man. It's like a six year old kid. This is true. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, right? yeah. Can you imagine that? How much money do you think he's getting paid? He's making millions. He's actually he 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 hit the Forbes list or some shit like that. At six. That's um. Crazy. That's crazy. Yeah. What do you do with that money afterwards? Oh, his family's his dad. His mom and yeah. dad are living like fucking kings. Yeah, right? Yeah, for huh? sure. <laughs> mom and dad are living like kings. They're traveling the world. You know, they're going on month-long vacations probably. They're opening and reviewing shit in fucking Hawaii. You yeah. think that kid's ever going to get the money? He might even have to emancipate himself eventually or something. Because <laughs> you know yeah, no. who's, who's, who has the right to that money, though, technically? Well, it would his, be the parents. No? It would be the yeah, parents for yeah, now. Eighteen. Yeah. But once he turns eighteen, he made the money while, like, would that money transfer transfer over to him? Yeah. Whatever they suppose they have saved. Technically, him, yes. Be, yeah. yeah. If he wants to go after them, but they're gonna be like, "Hey, who you think was t- you were taking? You know, you have to live." Yeah. You know. It just depends on how much of it is left, basically. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm, there's one thing also. I'm pretty sure they have a savings account for the something nice tucked away. One thing I want to ask you, okay? <laughs> Hold on a second. Where do we even start? <laughs> um, okay. Growing up, because I'm yeah. looking at you, the light skinness, right? Yeah. All right. Are you mixed? Are you mixed race? I feel like I'm about to be like, you know, stereotyped and shit. No, no, no. Let's just just uh, dig in your like business a little bit. Yeah. Friday wants to know your personal business now. Yeah, what's my mix? Yeah. Uh, I'm half uh, Egyptian, man. Okay. Yeah, that's where, like, the light skin comes from. Okay. And then my dad's just, he's from Cali. He's African-American. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I had a whole, like, biracial question here. I was going to say, what would you guys guess, though? I don't know. Just, 
I figure like black and white. That's mm. you know what I'm saying. Easy go to. That's the yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a quick one. So did you get like a lot of yo? You're the Spanish guy in school, or like people confuse you for a whole bunch of different races. I've been told that I'm ethnically ambiguous. <laughs> I was like, that's the that was the best one I've heard. I heard that I, I'm like a chameleon, like I can fit into any any kind of tier, man. So I was like, all right, like, shit. All over the music. I was like, shit, whatever. All you're right, just clicking, cool. o- you're checking <laughs> other. other, yeah. <laughs> oh man, oh man. Okay, comedy though, with yeah. that shit, what, what you're doing, right? Mm. You're. Would you ever like do like you know how? fucking dave Chappelle has writers and stuff like that is is that the end game like what's the end game when it comes to the comedy for y'all or for you specifically i would like to branch off into even more than just comedy you know like mm-hmm. i'd want to act i'd want to film shit like the ultimate goal though like why i even got into this is because i want to just create stuff right at the end of the day no matter what format it takes I want to just be creating things constantly, you know? Yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah. So, right now, comedy works for me, and I'd like to, like, expand into other things, you know? Mm. So, what the end game is, I couldn't even tell you. Yeah. Because it, it can evolve in, like, so many different times, you know? Yeah. It's a stepping stone. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. So, I just plan year by year, pretty much. So, okay. do you do you have, like, um, like skits in the, in the tuck type of thing? Yeah. Yeah, you could say that, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, because I told you, I still have all those ideas. Like so a longer not, version I'm talking like, about. Like, a, a, you know, something that you can create into like a, a some kind of a piece rather than just a one-minute Instagram thing. Oh, yeah. Like, I'm planning a web series, man. Yeah, yeah that's what I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, a web series and a podcast, actually. Nice. So watch out for that. Okay, okay. Yeah, okay. yeah look at the camera. <laughs> yeah, watch camera. out for that. <laughs> Give us some of the jewels from that. What's, what, is it going to be just like a... like? talking podcast interview the podcast yeah it'll be like an hour so something quick Mm -hmm. and then uh web series i'm still writing so whether or not like that gets done it just takes time you know and then to film all of that because i want to make it professional man i want it to be like something like you haven't seen in toronto yet yeah so quick rapper question Mm. what toronto rappers you fucking with like what's your favorite shit right now I don't want to be basic, you know what I mean? I want to say, like, I like Smiley, man. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I like Houdini. Mm-hmm. I like uh, Alumni. Northside yeah. Benji. Dope. Who else? Young Tory's nice. Eric Paisley's nice. Yeah, man. Yeah. Depends, but I feel like, are, are those mainstream people now? Who's I don't mainstream? think so. Eric Paisley. Eric Paisley, everybody's getting there doing, I would say maybe Young Tory is the most mainstream out of all of them. Smiley? Smiley, no. He's getting there. Yeah, Smiley, he's yeah. getting there. He's getting there. He's Houdini's getting there. Houdini's big, actually. Yeah. yeah. he's super big. To get on World Star, though, I feel like he's bigger than Smiley, no? Yeah, you can, you can, you can pay to get on World Star, but he, he's making big moves. He's making big moves still. Mm. Um, Even, like, the whole thing there that we were talking about earlier with, uh, or for last week, for people who might be seeing this interview at that point, right? <laughs> We were talking about how they try to take the rap game and mix the whole streets and all that, right? And there's a lot of polys that they have in this rap game, okay? What do you think about this whole fucking gun violence that's been going on in the city over like the last year or so? Like the question that we keep on asking over and over from episode to episode is how could, what we can we do in, 1990, in 2019 to bring it down? I don't know, right? I'm trying to take it back. Like how we can prevent it and stuff? Like, how we can make it down from like the way that we had it last year in 2018, basically. I got super serious. I got really, that took a big turn. I'm trying yeah. to think though, because I want to make sure that I word this right. And mm-hmm. I don't. Mm-hmm. Take I don't your time. Think. I feel like, what, like in the sense of guns, it's like, should we just ban guns altogether? Because you can't. Right. You know what I mean? So as far as how we can break that down, like that's like, that's even bigger than just the rap scene. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I don't know, man, you would have to, you have to fix some laws on that. What do you guys personally believe? You think everyone should have guns or no one has guns? Cause what's happening in England right now? 
Like everyone just has stabbings. Yeah, it's stabbing regardless shit, yeah. whether or not it's a gun or a knife, you're gonna have violence either way. Facts. So it's a bigger issue than even that. Yeah, the stabbings in the in the UK are crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. It's, it's, and they don't have guns out there like readily available. Like they get one like you know like the white them don't walk with guns, and like they call for backup when they need guns. They yeah. call for the heavy artillery to come true, but in Canada or Toronto, anybody can have a gun. You can walk past somebody and. You don't even know, and they have a gun, right? And some can be legal, and most are probably illegal, but... It's well, still then you fun. got places like the states, like different states like Florida and yeah. different places that are open carry states and stuff, and they have their also a big share of gun violence, but there's also different a different vibe when it comes to the respect because everybody knows that everybody has one, right? And everybody can legally go and, you know, get their license and rate tate tate um my i think it's just opportunity right just it's not the only thing but when people have more opportunities um i.e like not only one two mans are getting a lot of money like there's opportunities where a lot of people can get rich you know what i'm saying um you got communities where the whole community of that culture has a certain amount of money Right. But then in the black community, mostly or like, you know, black and brown communities, the money is low and only a few people have money. Okay, You know what I'm saying? Mm. And the ones who usually have the ones are who have to you know, take a few more risks. Right. So then that's where you start getting that little bit of issues, the, you know, the jealousy, all those different things, because not everybody is fucking doing well. <laughs> you know what I mean? You're not having those issues in Rosedale because everybody's doing well. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that's my opinion. I know it's not a one, one shot answer, but it's something that I like to ask guests so we could maybe collage it together later. You know what I mean? So what, in a sense, what would be one thing that you would implement then? Well, I'm asking you. <laughs> yeah. Because that's what I'm saying. That's like a huge question on that. Yeah. So I feel like you got to just first off, before anything else is you got to open it for discussion. Like, they got to be talking about this and acknowledging that it's a bar- problem, you know? Because mm-hmm. they don't give a fuck because it's like, who's dying here? Yeah. Blacks, and they don't give a fuck about that shit, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they, yeah. and who do you think's like, think about, like, in the 90s, who, like, Nixon was bringing in, like, fucking crack, giving them guns and shit. Like, they want us to kill ourselves, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the 80s, but I know exactly what yeah. you mean. You know what I'm saying? There yeah. was, like, a space of time where, like, a lot of shit was just allow- being allowed mm. to get to where we are now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's a tough one. It's definitely a tough one. Um, Let me see. Last couple of things, okay? Mm. I was going to... In my mind, when I see you on the fucking Instagram... I'm thinking that you're like you're way older, mm. but then there's a lot. <laughs> this guy's about to expose shit again. <laughs> no, 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 no. no. <laughs> We're not gonna have to blurt out anything. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But for the guys who are like watching you, like all the young, young motherfuckers, mm. like twelve fucking fifteen year olds and shit like that, mm. who are trying to get into the game, what's one a piece of advice you would have for them? I say consistency is key, man. Mm. Like I say that same shit I was saying about like stand up comedy, like no matter what you want to do, like you got to master your craft, you know, yeah. you got to spend hours at it and people give up on shit so easily, man, when you really think about it, yeah. people spend like a day, same with working out and shit, man, like you got to be consistent, you yeah, know, sure. yeah, 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 yeah. And I'd say take criticism, like take it and try and be better from it, but don't let it like affect you that much. You mm-hmm, know? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. Since you've started getting more popular with the comedy, mm. what's the hardest lesson that you heard that you learned? Hardest lesson to like Yeah. Something where you're like, fuck, that's how it is. Huh? Damn. I yeah. I would say like the biggest lesson is just like as far as making the stuff is like just taking some opinions on shit and be like, oh maybe that was like not as good as I thought it was, you mm-hmm. know? I feel like that's the biggest pill, hardest pill to swallow, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. I feel like you want to look at things not all the time like so you got to look at things of how the viewers may see it you know how mm-hmm, perceive mm-hmm. you so yeah man like i'd say that's the biggest huh. biggest lesson i'd say yeah 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 i still think i got a lot of time man to learn definitely I got man. so much time man. i'm so new to this shit like to to go on i feel like i'm gonna look back in five years and be like holy shit i've changed so mm-hmm, much you mm-hmm, know mm-hmm. 
listen, man, I want to see you on another, like, I want to see some clips of you doing some stand up again. Try yeah. it again. You know I what I'm will, saying? Man. I want to see this web series. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. No one makes shit like I mean, fucking four y'all just did it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the, and that was good, man. That was the, really the, good. The Judge Tycho. Yeah. That's next level shit, man. Yeah, yeah. Really much is, music. Man. Yeah. Well, well produced. Mm. Yeah. It was like I was seven, eight episodes, maybe more. Yeah. And it's funny because um, the commentator, like the guy reading the voiceover for the thing, serving justice on the mandem level. And it's just the way that guy's monotone voice is. It's like, you know, it's a white guy reading it. And he's like, yeah, on the man damn level. And then, yeah, yo, for your entertainment, these guys mm. are hilarious. Mm. Like, they've been doing their thing. Been- I'm saying even they, they've been around for time now, right? Yeah. yeah. And that's what that's exactly what I'm saying as far as, like, the consistency, man, is all it takes. Yeah, yeah. You can kind of, like, force shit, man. Yeah. You yeah. Know? As long as you keep putting that energy out there. And you keep putting projects out, mm-hmm. you're just gonna improve every time, you know. It's Ten thousand hours, man. Exactly. Yeah, man. Exactly. Well, yeah, man. That's crazy. Bilal Dawson in the motherfucking yeah, building. Yeah. I feel like I'm, I'm dripping out here, man. Came through dripping. You in Friday? <laughs> <dripping. laughs> I'm like, this guy was talking so much shit earlier. He was, he was like, light skins don't sweat. I'm sitting there in the corner, like, oh shit. I, <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's all good the more that you sweated the less that I, I sweated know, I know. You know what I'm this, hey. this man brought his towel I was like shit every <laughs> week I got really scared every there week. for a second man the funny yeah. thing is I, I don't but I don't and you're wearing a hat and a roots sweater man with a shirt underneath it <laughs> man's probably got a wife beater on underneath <laughs> that too <laughs> and a thermal trust me 